International University, but Pachuente. Oh, ito yung magsisimula para sa NU Bulldog. Feature the two foreign student athletes from both sides. Isa Gaye versus Pachuente. This should be good, Jet. It's a great matchup down low. We're gonna see a lot of physical. Uh, Isa Gaye, you know, they rely on him a lot. They need him. He's really the main man down low. So, I think this game of, between National University against Bo of UAAP Season 82 Men's Basketball Tournament. First crack at the basket here for NU. And if you're NU and Coach Jamaica Karen, you want to get off to a hot start here, set the tone for this game because that was, you know, you were not able to do that against De La Salle. That's exactly what they did in the first game. So, you know, I think that's a point of emphasis for them. Start the game strong. I think uh, everything will come after. And for the FBU Tamaraus, had an excellent game offensively against UP. They go to Chuente right away, who misses the shot. Oh, if and Defonso. That pick and roll action. You saw Chuente actually rolled to the basket, just couldn't make that shot. Minerva. That was a good look from Minerva, though he missed the shot. LJ Gonzalez here. On top, almost losing it, feeding Cyrus Torres. Torres, who has been playing well for the FEU Tamaraus in the past few games, kicking it out. Bienes from the corner. Still no go for uh, Bienes. And no Defonso corrals the rebound. Dave attacking Stockton. The kick out here to Hoson. Calle putting it on the floor, out of control there against Chuente. But well, you can see the aggressiveness. First two shot attempts by Isagay. I think it's a point really that he has to get going offensively for them to have success today. That's a good way. You attack the defense and make uh, Chuente work. Torres driving left, floating it up off the glass, no go. And here comes Hoson, running with it, and new on the attack again. So first minute and a half, a series of misses from both sides to begin the game. El Defonso, step back three, hand in his face, doesn't matter, he knocks it down. That's just a great step back shot for David Defonso with, with Stockton uh, all over him on that one. And that's exactly how NU started this game, or that game against the LSU, with a three-pointer from Dave Ildefonso, and Torres answers right back with a three of his own. So the field goes one out of four and zero out of three, except for that made basket by Cyrus Torres. He's really been shooting well for this team. Here's the pass inside again to Gaye. Back to Gaye. Gaye attacks Chuente again. Awkward-looking shot there from Isa Gaye. And again, you can see uh, Oxon really just feeding the ball right. back down to, to Isagaya, just failing to make that post shot. I really want to get Isagaya going here early. Gonzalez, 20 on the roll, running into trouble there, and that's an offensive foul against Pac Chuente. That's a good draw charge for Minerva off that uh, pick and roll. Let's see here, though, step back. That's just a talent shot for Dino <laughs> Defonso. That was over here, uh, Cyrus Torres so that three. Uh, so we count our threes here. Torres and Ildefonso to begin the game. Two and a half gone in the first quarter. Oxon. Back to Isagaye. Gaye just inside the circle, losing possession. Two on two break. Gonzalez has it. Stockton. The fake, the turn. Stockton, no good. And rebounded by Minerva. Let's see if uh, NU will try to look for a different... Uh option now in offense also they go back to Gaia though who got the pump fake and got 20 to commit Isa and he got the Gaia. basket on the drive never mind what i said they <laughs> went back to isa Gaia right away and he scored for them in that basket oh 20 out of control stockton breaking that free stockton ending up with the ball and that uh that uh scramble and just ended up with that layup that is our PS Bankable assist of the game for Pachuente. But on PS Bank personal loan, and Maasan apply online. No collateral. Dave Ildefonso bothered inside. And there's going to be a foul here against the FEU Tamarau. Let's take a look at this move by Isa Kaya taking it strong to the basket. And right after, Alex Stockton picking it up off the scrabble and then laying it up and in. Now, Dave Ildefonso is able to draw that foul. One of the best penetrators to the ring. Knows what to do when he gets in that lane and in that possession. He's feeding his hand out and the swipe uh, by FEU to draw that foul. Excellent sophomore season so far for uh, David Defonso. I think right now he's number five or number six in scoring in the league. 
15.6 points per game right there. Everything going for him though, but uh, I think he would rather get more wins on that board, but he's doing everything he can. An empty trip for David Defonso earlier. Gonzalez on top against Oxon. Gonzalez driving left, feeding Chuente. Bangs that ah, one in, plus Chuente. the foul. But Chuente with a three-point play opportunity. Got a field goal percentage. Both teams now two out of six. Uh, from well, the field, ten, he's a guy and that's his first except for this uh, end one basket, the great drive Photoshop and dish by LJ Gonzalez. Get in the lane and dishing it off to Pachuente underneath the basket for that end one. And how about the progression this year of uh, Pachuente? Initially, in the first few games, a non-factor for FEU on both ends of the floor. But we've seen the improvement. His footwork, his soft touch around the basket, that has improved as we went along the season. I think he just needed a little bit more games to feel more comfortable, yeah. you know, uh, in the bright lights of the UAP. Also missing from the corner. And that's a rebound for LJ Gonzalez. Four minutes gone. Gonzalez, oh, denied up top by Oxon. Just the speed of Gonzalez, able to, to find the, the crevices and keep seconds. into the lane, but great defense by Oxon over there to get that uh, get that block. See over here, great anticipation. Yeah. But that was a sudden acceleration of LJ Gonzalez there. Oh, he throws the ball away. El Defonso all alone. El Defonso lays it up. One of the easiest baskets that Dave is going to see today. Uh, bad pass off that uh, inbound. Up in the hands of Dave. It's communication coming from FDU. Let's see how they will counter here. Stockton to the corner. Bienes. Second miss off that spot coming from Bienes. Oson. The feed to Minerva. Stops on a dime. Running into trouble. They go to Gaye. Gaye. Short hook is good. See that turnovers though. Seven turnovers for FU and, and just one for NU. Isa Gaye with a Yamaha Mio number one move. And NU takes back the lead here, 9-7. to seven. No longer, though, as Bienes scores the floater. Just poor defense, though, for NU. That's too easy, a basket against oh, for FEU. That's right. El Defonso. As we reach our Gatorade hydration checkpoint here in the first. Oxon. Back to Oxon on top against Gonzalez. Shot clock reads four. Oxon, scoop and the hoop off the glass and in. they be able to draw that foul. So, so far, Jet, this is clearly a much better seconds. outing here in the second round for the FU Tamaros because in their first round encounter, according to our Sultan of Stats, Pong Dukanes, as Clemente strokes in the three, FU reached 15 points in the third quarter. I, I covered that game and it was a struggle for them and a struggle for me. I felt the frustration and not being able to, eat, to make open layups. So, you know, better this game, but not as good as they performed again in their last game against uh, UP, UP. That's right. I think they only had 13 in the first half against NU as El Defonso David knocks it down. David Defonso reading. And now NU with a six point lead. Traveling That's a traveling violation. Called it, against Alex Stockton. FEU really loves to do that. Off that uh, inbound. Attacking straight away, I think they have a set for this. Uh, not just setting up in the half court, but a full court set. Able to get open threes. And if we're FEU, that's not what you want. A key turnover to open the door here for NU again. Kaye got in. No good. Here's the rebound, the putback. Oh, that's going to drop here Five. for Malonzo. Malonzo. Immediately uh, picking up full court for both teams, doubling the inbound play. So now NU opening up their biggest lead of the game at eight points. Gonzalez stopping on the dime. Here's the kick out to Torres. Cyrus Torres. They got seven seconds to work with. Step back jumper coming from Torres is off. And Bien has called for the push on the rebound play there. Well, it's a little bit team. too aggressive as he though that so offensive rebound so and that putback. And Malonzo putting it back in. McDonald's instant replay here. The second stringer picks of NU working hard here. And cleaning up the mess for the National University Bulldogs. El Defonso went around the defense. Oxon on top driving right. Calle from mid-range. Doesn't get the bounce. 
You know, sometimes you, you think you'd want him to take it inside, but that's really a shot. He's been making it consistently throughout the season. Uh, Mid-range jump shot is a good weapon to have for a big. That's right. Cyrus Torres. He's got PNS at the post against JLC here, facing up, back down. La Fine Suente, bothered by Isa Gaye there. He is able to draw the foul against Gaye. A couple of opportunities at the free throw line coming up for Suente. That just came off that read in the mismatch on the post. But we see here, the low score, we talk about the low score for both teams. NU is really seventh in the league, 70.3 points per game. And FEU last in the league in scoring with 65.8 points. So, you know, it's, it may seem like an offensive struggle, but that's been uh, their rankings throughout the season. Both uh, low scoring teams here. And again, uh, in regulation against UP, FEU was only able to tally 69 points. It was 69 all going into overtime, so a little bit over is over their average in that matchup as 20 here heads to the free throw line. Non-factor so far for FEU. And he misses the second. El Defonso bothered from behind by Comboy. Dave. Pull up jumper. Too strong. 20 pulls it down. You know Comboy doing just enough to change that jump shot by uh, Dave El Defonso ending up with a miss. Comboy for three, and he breaks Eno the dry spell boy, from boy, the outside boy. for the Tamaras. You know, Comboy knowing a great shooter, wide open look for him in that play. Comboy's triple, our water flakes, Kai Bang move. 23 to 19, lead is down to four. Kaye on the drive Isa off the glass and in again. Yeah. This time not settling Isa Gaye. Missing his jump shot a while ago. Now ending up, uh, you know, realizing he wants to take it hard to the hole to Chuente, challenging him in the ring. So Kaye moving with a lot of confidence now against Chuente. Yeah, Z-point field goal, three out of six for NU. A good layup right there for LJ Gonzalez, who had Kaye approaching him in the second line. 2 out of 12 for FEU. They are, they're going to have to shoot better now. El Defonso. The feed again. Isa Gaye, one dribble in. Gaye say moves same result. Yeah. What a great pass by Dave El Defonso. As we reach our Gatorade hydration checkpoint, lead is back to six points for NU. Homeboy. Thought about it. The kick out to Pienes, who had daylight to shoot. No good. And Kaye tracks the ball down. Another missed three-point shot for FBU. But that's still a wide open shot. Goes also gonna take that. El Defonso back to Dave. He drives left. El Defonso scoop and the hoop in the lane. So it's a huge uh, offensive output for him, and they're gonna need him. They're gonna rely on him uh, in the second round. Can't tough it off the timeout for the FPU. Tamaraos knocking down the triple from the corner. Just like I talked about a while ago, they love to do that off that baseline inbound on the other end. The full court uh, offensive set for them with a corner three point shot. So El Defonso floats it up. Got an answer for NU, but Aya ends up with it and puts Isa it back in. Gaye. Plus the foul for Isa Gaye. And that's the matchup that we talked about before well, the game. Three, but you see here that full point uh, offensive first, set for them. A drive and kick. Ken Tuffin with that three, but Isa Gaye oh, ending up with that rebound in his hands. Oh, and just taking Gaye. it up strong against his, uh, the matchup down low, bad 20. End one basket. And Isa Gaye, we mentioned earlier, is averaging over nine points per game. Now he has eclipsed. His average in the season with 10 points, and we're just here in the first half. Basil Defonso here also in double figures for uh, NU so far. For so these two, you know, no matter the, the inconsistency or the underperformance of Isagaye coming out strong in this game, so it's a great start for him. Torres, 4 3, rimming out, and a rebound ending up with Enzo Hoson. Hoson is on the move. Hoson. Oxon giving it out to Dave El Defonso. They got a lot of time to work with here. Oxon from the corner. That's off. Chuente pulls it down. That was a good look off that drive by Dave. Passing into the corner for Oxon to take that three. Homeboy, the dish out. But Homeboy a little bit out of control on the drive. Chabot goes back to NU with that FEU turnover. And he's a guy here right now. 11 points across his name alongside six rebounds. 
that's just uh, what we're talking about. Eclipsing his, uh, his season average. We're not even at halftime yet, so the focus off NU to start the game and get him going inside has paid dividends for them. 11 points, uh, the 3 minute 30 mark in that in the second quarter. And also a very efficient day from the field so far for Isagaye. 5 out of 9. Only shooting f almost 42% in the season. Hoson, they go back to Isa. Kaye got the step and the hop and the foul against Chuente. Again, a, a different well, Isa Kaye in this game. Usually he will settle and take that jump shot as you saw there, but no. Driving it inside, taking it. Good a big man down, low back Chuente. Couldn't make it, but he got the foul. And you can tell that was part of the game plan for uh, the NU Bulldogs today. Give it to Isagaye inside and challenge the defense of Pachuente. Nunag on your screens right now. Back in the game for FEU. So it's Nunag, Kani, Stockton, Tuffin, and Chuente. Now on the floor for the Tamaraus. But as you have to wonder, what did uh, Coach Jamaik emphasize to Isagaye? What did he say? We're in the second the game of the second round. And this is where we're seeing a, a huge uh, turnaround in the game for Isagaye. Mukhang mahabang pep talk. Mahabang usapan. Mahabang usapan yung nakuha ni Isagaye from Coach Jamai Karin. But Kaya's activity has created this 10-point lead in the second quarter. Tani, pass is picked off. Kaya picks it up. And NU has a chance to increase their lead. Poor decision by uh, Hubert Tani on that play. He opted off that drive to pass down low, but his uh, teammate was wide open in the three-point line. Poson. El Defonso on top. Step back jumper. Dave, too strong. And rebound ending up with Hubert Canny. Canny is on the move. Canny got the fake, but he traveled because he slipped when he stopped. So far, nine coming here in the second quarter alone. See Pat Chuente now taking a seat on the bench and Ebonya uh, taking the, the responsibility of guarding Isagaye. So the adjustment has been made for the FEU Tamaraus. Kaye missing the jump shot. Hubert Kani against Hoson. Hoson running into a wall. Kani will set the table now for the Tamaraus. Nunak back outside. Hubert got the jab. Nunak for three. Short, doesn't get the bounce, and rebounded by Dave Del Defonso. Another missed three-point shot. Only two players are actually holding the ball in that play, Hubert Cani and uh, Nunag. So El Defonso here. Oh, a pickpocket by Stockton. And Stockton completes the steal. Last touch on Dave Del Defonso there. That's the calling card of uh, Stockton. He always picks up the best player of the opposing team and he loves to get in their heads. And that play though was able to use his length to pick the ball out of the, from behind of Dave. That turnover. Sundutan is Stockton itong si El Defonso and you love the dive right after by Alec. Royce Alforque enters the game for the first time for FEU. And turn, turnovers this quarter. Four now for FEU and two for NU. So a huge turnover problem by FEU. Stockton. Back the step. Stockton just force it up. Nothing there, but ball remains with FEU here with a fresh 14 to work with. FEU really having trouble to find a good basket. And that play, it's a tough shot for Stockton. Again, and he has been playing good defense. Asumasa by the struggles ng FEU dito on the floor. Got this! The drop off pass coming from Stockton to Tuffin inside. Our Jollibee 100% yeah, amazing move of the quarter. That's just a driving dish. You know, it started actually from the drive of Ebonia from the top against Isagaye. And his teammates just uh, fed off it and Tuffin with a basket underneath. El Defonso, the fake. Goes under, that's a foul on Ken Tuffin. Oh, Tuffin foul wants the foul 20. on the floor. Ken Tuffin, that's it. Second but uh, the refs are calling it a shooting foul. I think an act of shooting. So two shots coming up for David Defonso. Here, here's the replay. Got the initial fake, and then got him there. Looked like Tuffin had a case, Jeff. Oh, yeah. I think uh, even after that, the contact and the motion, Dave was trying to dish it off underneath to Isagaye. So, 
know, the ref saw otherwise. I think the motion just uh, led or they felt yeah. was a, a, a shot already. It wasn't a clear shot attempt for uh, Dave Ildefonso, but nonetheless, the call staying here. Ildefonso, two chances at the free throw line, missing on the first. So new players on the floor for National University here. You got Patrick Yu, you got Mangayo on the floor as well, alongside uh, John Galinato, who entered earlier. I think with three minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Our question was if the second unit can provide a, a scoring punch or maintain at least the energy of the first unit, but looks like they're doing a great job. Yeah. So far than that, you know, when you play Final Four, these are the games that you really look at. sayang, you weren't able to get the opportunity and take advantage. But then you hear they have other things in mind. They're one and seven right now, but they're very hungry to win this game and they want to snap also their two-game losing skid after this game. And Minerva starting off strong here for National University, knocking down the triple right away. Better uh, offensive start, uh, keeping up their start for for NU with that three-point shot. Oh, oh Juwente uh, with a rim wow. rattler there, punishing the rim. Really towering over everybody there. Uh, has an opportunity at the free throw line. Juwente, pure gold, always Spanalo move. First save foul. What a dunk by Pat Juwente. Starting the, the second half with a statement dunk over Isagai. A great uh, drive and dish, though, by FEU. And that's how you re-announce your presence in uh, this ball game, Pachuente also completing the three-point play. Earlier, it was announced as a long two for uh, Minerva. So it's 41-35. You see the starters here for National University. As Il Defonso strokes the triple in. That one was a three-point shot. Uh, way behind the line for David Defonso, just, you know, looking away and then just rising up above him for the three-point uh, basket. Let's take a look well, at this we'll move. Stockton with a dish. And Juwente had the open lane for the two-hander. That's just a great dunk. Seconds. And David Alfonso, you know, just taking his time, sizing up the defense, sizing up the distance of the ring, and rising up for a three-point jump shot. Juwente. Oh, out of control on the reverse. A little wild on that one was Juwente. So Hoson here. Will handle the rock for NU. See LJ Gonzalez now back in the game. Uh, let's see if he can uh, get his rhythm going. But oh, what a move so. coming from Dave El Defonso, slithering his way to the hoop. And they get the steal. Dominos beats out what a delivery play earlier coming from Dave. That's a great offensive game for Dave El Defonso. Outside, inside, outside, inside again. He's doing it from everywhere. That's really in his groove. He's got five points here in the third quarter. In the first minute and a half of the third quarter, that is. Minerva. No get on the shot. Chuente pulls it down. And here comes Ino Convoy. 11-point game now for FEU, so they have to uh, trim it down to single digits. Stockton, open look. Could not take advantage. And here's Hwasan bringing it downhill for NU. White shirts with the 11-point lead. 46-35. Il Defonso, another step back jumper. Oh. Back rims that one, but a foul was whistled against Stockton. That's just a bad foul on Stockton. Fouling a three point shooter. One of the cardinal sins of uh, defense, but David Defonso. Slicing and dicing inside, sidestepping, getting that shot. And uh, Dave, this was the attempt earlier, fouled. Stockton got him uh, on the arm there. So Dave uh, Defonso, extra aggressive to begin the third quarter here. He's got six points so far, or 16 points so far, rather. Just over his average of 15.6 points per game. 17 now, so they're in, they have a 12-point lead. And Dave uh, has a great offensive game. That's really the trend of NU. So a lot of weight on his shoulders, but Day. Full effect for the FEU Tamaraos here after the strong start of NU. Maybe reinforcing a statement at halftime. They have to win this game together. So no individual talent can win this game alone. They're going to have to execute a lot better. And Cyrus Torres is back on the floor for much-needed shooting for FEU as Juwente 
pulls down the rebound, couldn't put it back in. Gonzalez tracks it down. LJ, the kick out, Torres. Torres puts it on the floor, but shot clock expires for FEU. It realized that the ball hit the ring, and Coach Olsen is furious. Off that timeout, I think he wanted the play called, but they didn't execute it uh, properly. Ending up with a shot clock violation. Turnover number 10 for the FEU Tamaraus. And Enzo Hoson brings it downhill. Up against LJ Gonzalez. FEU looking to tighten the screws here defensively. Minerva, turnaround jumper, bothered by Tuffin, but Minerva puts it in. What a tough shot by Minerva. Spin move, fade away with a hand in his face. That's just a great, uh, great move. And everything just falling here for National University. An 11 to 3 start in the third quarter. Gonzalez with a separation. Uh -oh. And he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Nothing going for the FEU Tamaraus right now to start this uh, third, third, third period. Let's take a look at this move. Difficult, difficult shot coming from Minerva, able to put it in in our McDonald's instant replay. And Minerva, he's got four points here in the uh, third quarter alone. Oh, zone from the corner. Lucky break for FEU. I think they went with a 2-3 zone off that full court man-to-man -man press. Just to, just to change things up, as nothing's going for them against NU. Torres, FEU dodging a bullet earlier. But the lead is 15 here. Tamaraus, homeboy, driving the dish inside. Ebonya couldn't handle it. Ebonya still has it. Puts one up short. And rebound corralled and oh. dragged down by Minerva. That's just frustrating for FEU. They had the great look off that drive by Ino Conway. And Boya just Ebonia failed to, first, to get his hands on the ball. And three turnovers now for FEU and zero for NU. A look at the hustle here of Minerva. Yes. Again, doing it all for NU here in the third. And the foul was called on Ebonia. You know, frustrate. That's it. I think this is a frustration foul now. Yeah. Oxon, oh, pass well read, but they will recover. Oxon pulls the trigger and drops it in it's from the corner. Oh, <laughs> Nothing going boy. for FU and everything going for NU. A turnover waiting to happen, ending up with the ball and a three point shot. Homeboy misfiring on the other end. NU with a commanding 18 point lead. El Defonso against Comboy. The kick out to Hoson. Hoson. They got nine seconds to work with here. Calle, uh, bothered by the defense of Ibonia and Chuente. 6.5 seconds on the clock seconds. here for NU. Let's take a look at the three-pointer here. Turnover waiting to happen. But the ball is ending up again with NU and a corner three-point shot by Oxman. And here the shot block by uh, Chuente Onisa Calle. So Coach Olsen continuing to mix things up here. Comboy heads to the bench. Stockton coming in. Off the inbound, Dave. Short rebound. Ending up with LJ Gonzalez. And LJ is on the move. Oh, steps back for the jumper. A little bit too strong. Foul inside. And it's going to be whistled here against foul RJ Minerva. RJ Minerva does his third personal Second foul, foul on RJ. Foul. And a new not yet in the penalty Those here. That will be only their third team foul. Third quarter points. You see the eruption right Come there on, by National seconds. University, Jeff. 14 points already. Uh, not even halfway through the third quarter. And then they've done it through transition baskets and uh, making their three-point shots. And FEU needs the hot shooting version here in the third quarter if they want to stay afloat in this game. Stockton. That is to win the frozen down. Slam. So a game-changing play. PS Bankable assist of the game coming from Alex Stockton. Parang PS Bank personal loan and maasan apply online. No collateral. Few goals now. Five of nine for NU and two of ten uh, for FEU. Hopefully that uh, two-hand jam will get some momentum going on their side. Kaye missing the free throw line jumper. LJ Gonzalez is on the move. Gonzalez blowing by Hoson, who fouled him from behind. 
Man, the speed of oh, LJ. But see over here, off that pass, the uh, closeout and the driving dish for that two-hand jam by Pat Trenton with force. Oh, look at this hammer. This is the second play for Stockton and Chuente ending up with the hammer for uh, Chuente. So 53-37. FDU is hoping that could be a start of something here in the third. As they've only scored five points. Stockton driving baseline. The dish is well read as we reach again our Gatorade hydration checkpoint here in the third quarter. Ball in their aggressiveness to keep up with uh, this speed against FEU. And FEU with a window of opportunity, especially coming off that Chuente jam earlier. Gonzalez, get a separation here. Alforque on the other side. He's got Sean. Alforque, floater is good. Royce. There we go, a great drive in the floater. Royce Alforque. Alforque, that's right, with a Jollibee 100%. He amazing move of the quarter. Halfway wow. done. Now, if you're picking up the defense, being more aggressive, you can see the full court man to man trying to hound the ball handlers of uh, NU. El Defonso puts it on the floor. Will back down against Stockton. El Defonso step back. Jay is off. And ball ending up with Ebonia. Here come the FEU Tamaraus. Alforque, the kick out. Stockton to the post. Ebonia has the smaller Gallego. And he erases Gallego's defense. Whistled for the uh, offensive foul, rather, is Barkley Ibonia. And to say the least, the least to the dismay of uh, FBU. You see here, you know, he tried to back him down. Refs, though, saw something else. He didn't really use uh, the shoulder or anything. Yeah. And uh, uh, a good sell by Gallego on that offensive foul. That was just a slight bump by Barkley Ibonia there. That's frustrating for FBU. Uh, the call will stay here, so it's NU basketball. Pressure applied by the Tamaraus. Sean Ildefonso to Gallego. JV, Nakmamadale, will back up and reset the offense. Gallego, working against LJ. Ildefonso, driving. The dish to Gaia is uh, deflected. And ball staying with the white shirts here with six seconds on the clock. No, it's interesting to point out FEU and NU really having similar uh, play styles in their offense. Both, I think, run the drive and kick right. and a lot of high pick and roll. So maybe uh me contra Puelo in FEU right. having trouble always with NU. See the quarter field goals for FEU. 22 out of four and the rest of the team only one out of seven. The basket. Oh, as Oxon knocks in the triple, his second one here in the third quarter, and also from the same spot. That lone basket coming from Royce Alforque earlier. Good shooting day for Oxon. 17 point lead. Gonzalez couldn't handle it. And then you. Another window of opportunity to increase their already humongous lead, as we see. This play, the inbound, back to Oxon, and he knocks down the triple. Sometimes the most dangerous player in an inbound play yeah. is the inbounder, because you really lose sight of him after he inbounds the ball. So that's just a great move by Oxon to relocate in the in the corner for a three-point shot. So good activity here on defense by Royce Alforque, able to get it from JV Gallego and force the foul on him. That's a uh, pressure paying off now for FEU. They need more of this. They have to start playing great, better defense against NU. So U is on the floor now for NU alongside uh, JLC, John Lloyd Clemente, and JV Gallego, Sean El Defonso, and Isagaye. And that completes the five. And NU, as the uh, stat showed a while ago, three out of six now for the three point line. It's zero out of two for FEU. But FEU has been coming back. With these baskets from the painted area, Boysen points in the paint, Barkley Ibonia converting. Well, they've been scoring inside better than NU, and you just uh, shooting the threes a lot better. Medyo, it's a little bit opposite uh -huh. of what you'd expect from, from both teams. Yeah, and the main separation for uh, the NU Bulldogs, El Defonso. Good anticipation from Barkley Clemente. Too strong on the three, rebound ending up. It's, so they're still part. 
Uh, you really coming alive both uh, on defense and offense. And I Stockton leading that charge. Six points and four assists now and one steal. Guarding yeah. Dave El Defonso. Remember, this started, this run started with those FEU steals earlier. Oxon dumps it in. Kaya loses handle. And FEU on the attack again. Big opportunity now for FEU to cut the lead down to five. Gonzalez against Husson. LJ, the kick out. Alforque thought about it. Moving closer, and runner oh, is good for Royce so Alforque. Good. Alforque coming alive in this quarter with the drive and the deuce. Five point game. FU Tamaraus with a 10 to nothing run. Oxon, Tuffin breaks it up. Uh oh. Uh, runs into the referee there. Ball staying with NU. That's just the effort of Tuffin. He wanted that steal. Wanting it enough to end up in the referee's hands, as you see oh, here. LJ Gonzalez, good read. Oxon shifted down, passing it to Alforque and uh, forcing a closeout and a great attack. And such energy given here by the FEU Tamaraus in the last few moments. El Defonso throws it away. LJ is on the move. Gonzalez all the way! Gonzalez. What a blitz by FEU now, down to three points. LJ Gonzalez with a jolly B, 100%. Yeah, amazing move of the quarter. We have a one possession game, folks. Three minutes remaining. Clemente, no good. And an opportunity for FEU to trim the lead to one or tie with a three pointer. Here's the kick out. Stockton for three. Stockton oh. for the oh, tie. Oh. What, a, what a pass and what a shot. Alex Stockton. Wide open three. 15 to nothing run by the time and I was to pull even. Two and a half minutes remaining. What a game. Eighth deadlock off the game. Hoson. The oh. dish oh, broken up by Tuffin. And you with another turnover. Tuffin will back up and send it out to Alforque. Oh, Stockton wants the ball on Dave. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Give, giving it back up. <laughs> An opportunity for FPU to take the lead. Six seconds left on their clock. Alforque got the lane. Alforque oh, gets the so lead. Alforque doing magic. Wow. Pick and roll action up top, realizing he's a guy and not fast enough underneath and just ending up with a big layup for the lead. And on cue as we enter the PS Bank last two minutes, PS Bank percent via mobile and Padalamo cash agad in minutes. From 18 points down, FEU has come back and they've taken the lead and they get another stop on their end. Gonzalez, uh -oh. tough in for three. Too strong. I would have brought the house down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> the crowd was up on their feet for that one. David Defonso. Pulls the trigger and Ooh. knocks it down. A big, big three-pointer from Dave. Who do they go to? Who does NU go to? That's the question of this drought. And NU knowing that Dave will rise to the occasion. Big shot. NU overtaking again. Two-man game. Good patience coming from Port Cleabonia. Patience is right again. Great job, but nine points per game. And the points that he produced, all right. the most crucial of them all, leading the game. And you know this NU team has a go-to guy. Oh, but they lose possession. NU turns the ball over again. And they leave Ebonia open. Oh! Good recovery, though, coming from Clemente. Wow, what a lucky break for oh, NU. So He's a guy a losing track point of point his point man. Ebonia just sprinting down. But JLC there to save the day. Oh, that's awesome. that's overtime up next with their second straight overtime game of course they won their previous matchup against up and for nu this is their third one of the season they're 0 and 2 in overtime games and the momentum is actually on the side now of feu after that huge run a while ago but in this five minutes it's going to be crucial who scores first usually you know we say or uh, from my experience 
the first five well, points actually of uh, either Bonya team is really first, crucial first in the overtime foul, period with five foul. minutes to play. With Isagai now uh, getting fouled and uh, the opportunity yeah. to score the first two points for NU in the overtime period. And this might be a great idea if you're National University, get Isagai involved again because he scored 13 points, I think, uh, at halftime. At the half, he scored 13, and this is uh, his first point in the second half. It looks like they veered away from the, the, the focus that they right. had to get him in, a, in the offensive rhythm. So may, that might have contributed to their struggles offensively, especially in that fourth quarter. But right now, you know, he scored the first two points, but uh, let's see if they keep going back at him. Achuente quickly back in for the Tamaraus. 73-71, Calle 2 for 2. Alforque brings it down. Royce will set up the offense of FEU. They go to the other side. Gonzalez against Hoso and Comboy on top here. Seven seconds to shoot for FEU. Comboy against Clemente. Comboy needs to put one up. Comboy, no good on the jumper ball, ending up with Twente. A wild put back right there by Patrick. And uh, NU wins the battle for the loose ball. You know, Coach Wilson put back 20 in the game after that huge run by the smaller unit right. of FU. Match up in Isagaya, but you know, I think he's gonna go back to his small unit soon. Tap from behind, Gonzalez to Gaye. Gaye, one hop in, no good. Gonzalez with the rebound. And LJ quickly back the other way for the Tamaraus. Quick pick and roll is uh, the drive and kick now for both teams. Let's see if one team can convert off it. Tough in for three. No good. That's yeah. a struggle. The struggle continue, continues for Ken Tuffin. Just one three-point made throughout the game. A one out of six. Yeah. A far cry from his performance against UP. El Defonso, step back, jumper is good. That's a big triple coming from Dave. You asked me a while ago, that's what I meant. The first five points yeah. off this overtime was given now by NU. Great, great triple. This huge shot by uh, Dave El Defonso. Early five-point cushion here by the NU Bulldogs. Gonzalez, no good. Rebounded by Royce Alforque. Ah. Banker is off as well. That's frustrating for uh, Alforque. And FEU failing to get a good look. This is going to be troublesome now as we reach a three-minute mark. Caliego losing that one out. FEU now on the other side of the fence because in that game against UP, UP was the one who came back in the fourth quarter and forced overtime. Here's the step back first by David Defonso dropping that one in cold-blooded. Ice his face. You know, Dave, you know, the first game coming into the season is uh, well, how he performed in that overtime loss. But right now, unfazed, he wants the ball back again. Dave has 24 points across his name. Also, Clemente! Kaboom for JLC! And he's enjoying it. The combination of Dave and uh, Clemente doing wonders for NU today. 8 to nothing start in overtime for NU. Alforque splits the D. Stockton tries to stop the bleeding. Too strong. Comboy with the rebound. Chuente on the roll, and he will be fouled on his way up. And Chuente, second one. Up and in for Pat. 79-72 is the count. And LJ Gonzalez makes his way back to the game here, replacing Ruiz Alforque. And Cyrus Torres also checking in for Alex Stockton. A few more shooters now on, on the offensive end for FEU. Cyrus Torres and uh, Ino, Ino Convoy checking in. So FEU trying to weather the storm here in overtime. Convoy gets it to Gonzalez. LJ attacking Hoson all the way to the hoop is LJ Gonzalez. That's the speed. Beating, beating his man one on one off uh, extended. Man-to-man -man defense by NU and just an easy layup. So that's a three-point swing for the FEU Tamaraus. Dave got swarmed up top, and he will head to the line for a couple of shots. Good attack right there coming from David DePonso. Here, though, that extended man-to-man. -man. You're too close. You can't be too close to a speedy player fast. 
Just like LJ Gonzalez, but they will the function to stay here. Fearlessly to the hole. Beer foul on uh, Ken Tuffin. So big free throws coming up here for Dave Ildefonso. Huge double-double performance. 24 points and 10 rebounds for uh, the main man for NU. Coming up big today in the clutch. Yeah. At and the free throw line, though, uh, he has been shaky today. Four out of eight, but he takes care of business on the first one. They're making it up with his uh, three-point shooting today. Three out of nine. No, sorry, five out of eight from three. So you know, making up uh, that's a that's a good makeup for three points for free throws. <laughs> I want to take that. Pwedeng pwede na. Homeboy here on top, seven point game. Torres the open look. Ooh, too strong for the rookie. Overcooked that one. Twente gets it back, and ball staying with FPU with almost three seconds left on their clock, two point eight to be exact. A rebound and a swipe. There you go, that swipe down low on Tachuente. That's out of bounds on NU. But that's a huge opportunity for uh, Tyrus Torres and FBU. But Daniel Defonso, look at his numbers 26 points, 8 out of 17 from the field, and 10 rebounds. Huge, huge double double for his team right now. Tuffin got the fake, but didn't make the shot after. Here's the poke by Tuffin. Oh, FBU gets it back. And Tuffin makes up for his mistake. The FEU can't relax right now. They can't think that the game is over. This is right. very, very manageable. 1 minute 33, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to say in this possession specifically, they have to score. They have to score in this possession. They've only scored three points so far here in the overtime period. The basket earlier by Gonzalez and the free throw by Pachuente. Gonzalez against Calle. Gonzalez pulls up. Too strong. And ball ending up with Isa Gaye here. Three players oh. swarming Gaye. And FEU will be called for the whistle. That's two shots now. That's a fifth Only foul, foul 13, on FEU. Uh, I don't know about this one, but there's two huge free throws by Isa Gaye. Right. To extend the lead and possibly ice it. A minute and 20 left. Isagaya to the free throw line. He's got 15 points. Oh, oh, missing on the first of that is his first miss today. Five out of five before that. 81-74 still. It's a guy's number, so 15 points and 10 rebounds. 13 points in the first quarter, but now he got a double-double. You know.